So PAL stands for Peer Assisted Learning and it's um, a scheme which has been brought in to help young years with difficult modules. It's important to realise that PAL isn't about the leaders teaching students but instead PAL leaders help facilitate student-based discussions and practice of the subject. So as a PAL leader I have a co-leader and together we plan and organise sessions and then we run the sessions which usually involves some sort of icebreaker and then some discussion with the students about what they're finding most challenging and then there's like the core activity which could be a Kahoot quiz or it could be some questions that we've prepared so that students really think about the theory behind the subject. I found the jump between college and um, university huge and there's one particular module which I struggled with and I went to power sessions when I was in first year so I wanted to become a power leader now and help those who are in the same position that I was in. I chose to become a power leader because I really wanted to improve my leadership and confidence skills and then I also wanted to become more involved in my department. Um, beforehand, before we start um, PAL, we have training as well, so you're not really put there in the blue sort of thing. Um, and we have meetings with our lecturers as well, so they know that this programme is going on and they will provide you with materials or an area of where we could focus our PAL sessions around. So it's everything, everything is given to you, it's just about you delivering it. I'd say I've gained confidence, so I'm able to like stand up in front of a group of people and kind of lead what we're going to do, uh, but also confidence in the content as well, because when you have to look back at first year stuff, it makes you understand the third year stuff better. I learned to be very flexible, because each student is very different. I don't need to approach them in the best possible way for them. As a power leader, I feel like I've met some really lovely people and I do feel a great sense of belonging in my department. When you go to university you wouldn't be thinking you'll be hosting these sort of PAL sessions and you learn a variety from communication skills, you know, just thinking outside the box of how can I help these students if they're not understanding something or problem solving. So for me it's all of those skills but most importantly meeting new people. Being a pioneer is one of the best choices I've ever made because it feels like I contribute back to my community and also solving real problems and learning valuable skills will be so much helpful for my future career. When I come to uni, I always try and say, do as much as you can because you're never going to get this opportunity ever again. And um, PAL is one of those things that, you know, it's only an hour a week sort of thing. and the concept of you helping people is just, it's something I love doing. When someone says, oh, do you enjoy doing PAL? Would you do it again? Or do you recommend it? 100%, yeah.